hi again people so i i thought that the tutorial was finished but then i realized that i missed a really important step that this was how to import the file because the journals usually ask us to send the file in in photoshop or div format and as you will see eclipse Studio paint has a really big problem with the div format so first of all I wanted to show you the final version of the drawings that we did over the past few videos. Mm, the in the right, um, the author of the of the article of the paper. In the right, the author of the paper told me that it was not a gradient; it was a solid color. So what I did was that I used the millipen tool and use the spraying effect to fill all the drawing all the area and then I erase the where it was not needed then I filled it again then I fill the parts that were lacking now in the drawing on the left, in the Tosero, I used the spraying effect in this part because it needed to be filled. So depending on what you are going to need in your drawing, you will have to use the uh, bigger dots or more of give give your dots a little more space or make the brush size bigger or smaller you will have to play a little with your brushes so you have the desired effect now um, now that your drawing is finished and your folders are well organized uh, as as of now, we have always saved in the Clip Studio format, but uh, we are going to save it now as the Photoshop document. That is one of the formats that the journal can ask for us. So I'm going to replace the existing file. It is the same, and it will warn me that if I save in this format, I will lose some information. Mm, what will happen is that I I will not be able to use the vector layers anymore. That is everything that happens because all the information will remain there, but I won't be able to edit the vector layers. That is the main drawback of of saving in Photoshop format. So I recommend to you that you only save in that format when you are finished. Uh, here you can see that while the layers are there, the vector layer isn't available anymore. So I'm going to close it and open again the clip file. And now I'm going to save as a, fa a TIFF file and here you will see what I mean when I told you that Eclipse Studio Paint has a problem with the TIFF format again it warns me that I will lose information and now I'm going to open the TIFF file here it is and as you can see I, it is now an uh, only layer file a one layer file so all my folders and all the layers in them are lost so if the person who is uh, editing the um, this file on the journal he tries to move some of the images he is going to uh, he will need to use some tools that I don't think that it is relevant to show you how but it will no it will be difficult for him so what we're going to do is going we're going to Google 
and search for GIMP um, and as you can see it says that it is an alternative to Photoshop uh, and I don't think that is um, overestimated GIMP is really a, a good option if you don't want to pay for Photoshop because while it is difficult to learn how to use it uh, a little less, a little difficult uh, you can you can do a lot of things that you do with Photoshop in GIMP actually my first drawings that I use for for this kind of scientific drawing I did it on, on GIMP then I tried Clip Studio Paint and when I discovered the vector layers I didn't want to look at another program anymore but GIMP is a really 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 good option if you need to edit photos or make a drawing so this may sound like a little bit like a an ad advertisement for GIMP and like um, I am and a little against uh, clips of the paint <laughs> but so you can try first GIMP to see if you manage to do the, your drawings well and then try Clip Studio Paint and see which is better for you so well now we are going to go to the GIMP page we go to download GIMP and you can select the version for your operative system So here is the, the window of GIMP and it is customized but it is relevant for what we are, going to, we are going to do. So we go to file and we go to open, uh, look for your file, I have it here and I'm going to open the PSD file. So as you can see the information is all there. There are the folders and there are the layers. And obviously it doesn't have the vector layer, but there there are the, the all the layers are there. So again it's like it is like with so now I am going to open the TIFF file that I created with Clip Studio Paint. And you will see that in this case again is a single layer. So the people in the journal will hate me if they need to make any modifications. So I'm going to close it and in the PSD file I am going I am going to export it as a TIFF file and you will see the difference. And we look for the TIFF image in this part. I'm going to replace it because it is it, it, it already exists and leave all the options as they are now you will see the difference uh, okay so now the, ex the export is done and I will open the TIFF file the new TIFF file so this is different as the last time I'm going to leave all the options as they are and now I have three layers the paper layer and the two folders as you can see the folders now I are merged each folder into is merged into a single layer so as this is the final version of the drawings I think it is safe to assume that it is, um, it is enough to have it there we don't have the layers like in the PSD file but maybe they are not necessary 
if the journal asks you for them, then you have to, you will have to move the, the layers. You will have to get the layers out of the folder and then save it in, in TIFF format. But if you only need the final version of the drawing of each folder, then it is good to make it like this. So now the TIFF file is ready and we can send it to the journal. So if the journal asks for your files in Photoshop format, Clip Studio Paint is enough because you only have to save it as, as a PSD file but if they ask you to send them in TIFF format then you have to you will have to download GIMP and make this make that make the process that we did in this video. As I told you before, Clip Studio Paint has a problem with the TIFF format. So if now I open the TIFF file, you will see that it doesn't even read it well. So <laughs> there are no no drawings now. It is all uh, the white paper. That is a really big problem that Clip Studio Paint has that Photoshop doesn't have. But as I try to tell you over the last few videos, Clip Studio Paint has another advantages <laughs> over Photoshop so if you need to save your files your drawings on a, on TIFF format then you will have to download GIMP and make a little more steps but it won't take you long it's a little inconvenience yes but it is a something that you can work around pretty easily so again, if you have um, some question, some question I or comment, you can leave it in the in the comments below, <laughs> and I will try if I can to answer them. So if I find another tip or another way to do things more easily, I will gladly make another video to let you know. So thanks for keeping up with the tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot. Good luck and see you again.